Welcome back, Griefers. Today we're going to take a look at the new Elos SS36 pre-production sump that will be used with my new build. See, what's unique about this sump is that it is a combination of new and old technologies. It features filter sock holders, an area that can be used for a refugium or skimmer, and even integrated reactors that can be purchased separately for a seamless integration. Also unique is that while this sump is manufactured by Bash C, well known for their filtration products, this color combination is only available for ELO sumps. The sump features smooth edges and thick seams chemically bonded by the best products out there. Also included are items such as biobacteria sponges, an included filter sock, and an adjustable skimmer and return chamber. The sump also features integrated probe holders and dosing line holders to keep cabinet clutter down to a minimum. I'd also like to mention that there are actually a host of other accessories including skimmers, refugium lights, and additional reactor and manifold configurations that really tie the sump together. Overall, I think this sump would be something that's a great starting point for anyone that's looking into a brand new sump. The reactor that came included with my model is actually pretty awesome. It has labeled in and out areas and can run a variety of different media. I personally plan to be running carbon in mine and I will definitely look into other types of reactors to use with this build. My sump included lids for some of the most common areas where a lot of evaporation occurs, such as the filter sock and drain chambers, and mine also came with a manifold. Now this manifold is actually fairly simple, but it's a nice inclusion because the added value here is that you have some really high-end ball valves that look great quality, nice matching component and piping, and an opportunity for you to be able to upgrade and use various different types of reactors with your sump without having to build your own manifold. I also went ahead and picked up a auto top off unit to use with my sump. Now this one here is only five gallons, but as I have an integrated auto top off system here at home that will refill this occasionally, I definitely don't think I would want it to waste the cabinet space on having a larger than normal auto top off container. Overall, I'm very impressed with this new sump and I can't wait to get it plumbed into the display. So guys, stay tuned for the next video in this series where I go over the tank that I'm going to be using, the stand, and hopefully get this thing wet. If you're enjoying this series, please let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see from this build. As always, if you guys like what I do, hit that like and subscribe button. You guys keep doing what you do, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.